Hello, welcome. Question number 12. A and B will be in this episode. WASI 2023 Subjective Questions Ghana Edition, September. So, the first one is on the logical reasoning. The statement, the following statements are true of a certain community. S is stating that what most businessmen are rich. T no salary worker is rich. This is peculiar in Ghana, right? Good. We have to draw a Venn diagram to illustrate the information, uh, the information given to us, then state whether the following statements are also valid or not valid. So let's begin with the illustration. Now, for you to be saying that a statement and that this topic is either valid or not valid, there are only two things. A statement could either be valid or not what valid. Now, if you are to draw that on a Venn diagram, you need to indicate your universal set as the first thing, indicate the subset in the question, and try and see if you can get a complement. So these are the three things we need to identify first. So first one, let's see, we let u equals to the universal set, which is going to be the, so the set of people in the community. So let's build on this one as s being one of the subset to be so that will be the set of businessmen. Then we have T to be the set of four salary workers. So let's take the salary workers. Now, if you clearly check, we can see businessmen, salary workers. We are also seeing rich, rich, rich people. So it means we can also use R, which are also in the community. So now we have our universal set. We have our three subsets. Let's see if we can get the complement. Could there be any compliment here? Checking businessmen, they could be what? Rich. But salary workers could not be rich. Meaning, the T intersection R will give us an empty set. So that is going to be the compliment we are going to have there. So writing this, so with our universal set, which is being this, we can see that if you are a salary worker in the community, you could also be what? Rich. So let's first indicate the salary workers and indicate those who are rich. So you could be a salary worker, you could also be rich. But don't forget, salary worker, uh, I say salary worker, you could be, S is confusing to be uh, the salary. So S being businessmen, the businessman could be rich. So S and rich, they will be. Because the question said most. It didn't say all of them. If all of them, the rich will have been a total subset, a complete subset of what? The S. But they said most of them, some of them. All right. Then those who are also having salary could never be rich because they are also not businessmen. So they could also be in the community, all right. So that would be T. They are in the community, but they are not, they are neither rich nor a businessman or men. So this is what is going to be the representation on the Venn diagram. Now, looking at this to find the statement. So state whether the following statement is valid or not. Ali is a businessman and therefore is rich. Is that statement valid? Don't forget we have the a preceding statement and a concluding statement. Preceding statement, Ali is a businessman. So we are concluding that he is rich. Could that be true from the community? All those who are businessmen are here. Are they all rich? No. Only some of them are rich. So it could also be yes, Ali could be rich. Found his, himself here. But it could also be true that Ali is founding himself in this part of what the, the subset. So this statement is going to be not valid. It's not valid because Ali could be here. He's a businessman. He could also be here, not being rich, but he's a businessman. So the first statement here for Alpha is going to be not valid. Then let's go for Beta. Ahmed is not rich. That is the preceding statement. 
Ahmed is not rich. We can see it. If Ahmed is here, it means he's not going to be rich. Right? But Ahmed will also be here, not being rich. All right. So the concluding statement is what? Because he is a salary worker. Because he is a salary worker. Yes, true. Anybody who is here will never be rich in that community. But it could be that Ali Ahmed is not even here. Ahmed is a business person sitting here. But he has not gotten to the richness of the, the community. Ahmed could be here, but has not gotten the chance to migrate to those who are rich. So this statement could also be true. That is, not all the people in the community that are rich or that are not rich are also uh, salary workers. Right? Good. So this is going to be not valid. So the both statement in here, stating from the preceding statement and concluding statement. Preceding statement, concluding statement. If you compare the two, you see that based on the people in the community, these two statements are not valid, are invalid. Question B of the same question. So the heights and the frequency is given. So they say the table shows the distribution of height of seedlings in a nursery. So we have to calculate correct. We have to calculate correct to one decimal place the mean of this distribution and the variance of this distribution. So this means that we are going to draw a table of data. Now, how many columns are we going to draw is determined by the question. Now, since we are looking for the table, we need to know what the mean stand for, which I know mean will be sigma fx over sigma f, meaning I need a column for the f frequency, the x, which is the max, then I also need the fx. All right, then the variance, which will be this, or x squared, standard division squared, will also be the fx squared over fx, the uh, sigma f minus the mean, the mean squared. So you can see that I need this column, this column, and I also need the x squared column. So those are the things that are going to guide me in drawing the table, the columns for this question. So now these are the columns we are going to draw. One, two, three, four, five, based on the definition of mean and variance. All right. I need to find the class mark, which is the same as the class midpoint, meaning I am adding 60 plus 60, 60 plus 64. And if you add the two divided by what? Two. And I believe this will be 60 and two. So I have 62. Then this also divided by two. Addition of the two. You divide it by two. So this will give you 67. Don't forget, I'm only sharing the four among the 80 and the 84. Year two will be 14. Share among them 77, 70, 70. So you get this. The frequency already is given as 7, 6, 5, 8, 4. So the fx means the f times x. So this is going to be 62 times 7. And that will give us 434 We got 402 That will be 360 616 So we have 300 and 28. So we can find summation of all of this will give us 2140. So now on the fx square meaning that x square times f or fx times x. Because the x times this will give you the x will be square. So instead of drawing the x square column you will use your x to multiply the fx. So this times this. Okay. So now if you multiply this by this, you get all these values. Meaning the x 
column is multiplying the fs column producing all these digits all right then summing them up will give you the sigma fx squared which will be 154,090 already we know the sigma fx then let's find the sigma f This is sigma fx. This will be sigma f. This is going to be 10. So we have 30. So in this case, we are having 30 for the summation of f. 2140 for the summation of fx. 154,090 for summation of fx squared. So we can just go ahead and find the mean. which is going to be the sigma fx over the sigma f. Simply put, I'm going to lift up the whole of this. 2140 divided by the whole of this as 30. And that will give us 71.3333 recurring. But the question is asking for how many decimal places? One. So 71.3 is going to be the value of the mean. We are leaving that in only uh, one decimal place. So we can add a unit of centimeter. The next thing to find is your variance. Which is also by the formula, the sigma fx squared divided by the sigma f minus the mean squared. The value of the mean that we got here. And that is going to be the variance equals to lifting the value of this all the way from here. 154 and 90 divided by the 30 minus the mean square. We cannot use this because this is approximation. We are using the whole of this as in 71.333 all square. You can also avoid the, the decimal by lifting the whole of this and square it. So in that case, you'll be having this as 15136.333 minus 5088.4397. So now let's perform the subtraction and see. That will give us 47.8936. But don't forget, this answer must also be in the one decimal place. So if one decimal place, it will be 47.8. But this is going to be approximated. So 9 centimeters. So this simply means that the mean of the distribution is 71.3 centimeters and the variance is going to be 47.9 centimeters. I believe the concept is well understood for the mean and that of for the variance. Like this video, comment, subscribe and uh, share.